Hello, my name is Nick Everett and I'm one of the consultant upper gastrointestinal surgeons at Chesterfield Royal Hospital. Your doctor has referred you straight to test for a procedure called a gastroscopy, also known as an OGD. Patients are usually referred for this test because they have some difficulty in swallowing, worsening heartburn or a sensation of fullness after meals. It's important to realise that we find no cause for concern in the majority of patients. In some, we may find evidence of acid reflux, whilst in others, we find no abnormality at all. A prompt test provides rapid reassurance for this group. However, in a small number, we do find cancer. For these patients, rapid investigation means that we can prioritise their treatment and hopefully improve the chances of a better outcome by an earlier diagnosis. Straight to test means that your first visit to the hospital will be for your gastroscopy. You will not be seen in a clinic first. We understand that you may be apprehensive about your gastroscopy, but rest assured, it's a simple, safe and quick procedure which most patients manage very well. Whilst there are other tests which look at the esophagus or gullet and the stomach, such as a barium meal or CT scan, these tests are not as effective as gastroscopy in investigating the symptoms you have been referred with, and often a gastroscopy will still be required at a later date. Hello, my name is Emma Waterfield and I'm one of the Upper Gastrointestinal Clinical Nurse Specialist at Chesterfield Royal Hospital. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about what to expect on the day of your test. A gastroscopy is a day case procedure. You will come to the unit on the morning or afternoon of the test and will be in the department for one to two hours. The test itself takes less than 10 minutes in by far the majority of cases. You will be given instructions about when to stop eating and drinking before your test. Please follow these carefully. If your stomach contains food when we look into it with the endoscope, we may have to repeat the test on another day. You may be offered sedation for the procedure, but most patients find that they manage the test very well with just a local anaesthetic spray to numb the back of the throat. This means that once they leave the hospital, they can continue with normal daily activities including driving or returning to work. Patients can choose to have sedation. This involves the injection of a drug into the hand or arm through a small indwelling needle. Sedation can help anxious patients to relax, but it is important to recognise that if you have sedation, you will not be asleep during your test. Some patients may not remember having the test after sedation. Sedated patients are not able to drive or operate machinery for the rest of the day after the test. These patients will need a responsible adult to be able to supervise them at home. Frail patients or patients with other significant health problems, including heart or lung disease, may not be suitable for sedation. We will try to give you a choice, but the final decision rests with the endoscopist. The actual procedure involves swallowing a narrow, flexible tube inserted through the mouth. A mouth guard is inserted first to protect your teeth and gums. You will also have a finger probe to check your oxygen levels during the test and many patients will be given additional oxygen through a tube placed in the nostril. It feels strange when the gastroscope is inserted but rest assured you will be able to breathe normally through your test. The endoscopist will examine your esophagus, stomach and the duodenum which is the upper part of the small bowel. Tiny tissue samples, known as biopsies, may be taken. Don't worry if you hear that biopsies are being taken. It does not mean bad news. Biopsies help us to diagnose a variety of simple, benign conditions too. The endoscopist will explain the obvious naked eye findings to you. If biopsies have been taken, these results will not be available at the time of your test. They may take two or three weeks to process. In many cases, the gastroscopy is normal and you can be discharged back to your general practitioner with this reassurance. If your symptoms are significant, further tests or an outpatient discussion may be required and these will be arranged and you will be informed of a plan before you go home. If cancer is suspected, the endoscopist will discuss this with you before you leave the endoscopy unit. Most cancers in the esophagus or stomach are obvious at the time of gastroscopy, but the results of the biopsies are always necessary to confirm the suspicion. If we suspect cancer, the biopsies are processed within a few days. 
If we do have concerns, we will discuss them with you before you go home after your gastroscopy. If a friend or family member has come with you, they can join you in this meeting. During this time, we will ask you questions about your general health and fitness, and we will arrange additional investigations, including blood tests and a whole body CT scan. We will try to answer any questions you have during this meeting, and the answers you receive will be open and honest. It is important to realise that in most cases, until we have the CT results, we will not be certain what treatment options may be available. We will ask for the scan to be performed urgently, but you may have to attend on another day for it. We understand that this period can be stressful and we will do as much as we can to support you during it. You will be assigned a clinical nurse specialist or CNS as your key worker and your key worker will be in contact with you throughout this period of investigations and treatment planning. You'll be given a contact card for the CNS team and we encourage patients to contact us with any worries or concerns. Straight to test gastroscopy is simple and straightforward for most patients and most manage the procedure very well without sedation. It's the best way to provide rapid reassurance for the majority of patients that their symptoms are no cause for concern. For the small number of patients who do have cancer, straight to test gastroscopy is the best way to detect this as soon as possible and to arrange the additional tests that treatment planning will require. We hope that you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.